What's up, bikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. Miss Marshbank, the blue team English teacher, recently made a book. Here's more information. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Mrs. Marshbank to learn more about the Genius Hour book. Can you tell us more? Uh, yeah, so we made this book with all of their essays that they wrote for their Genius Hour project. It's called the SFC Research Journal 2018 Genius Hour. And the blue team out of the Freshman Center decided to pilot uh, publishing their work via lulu.com. And next year, we're hopeful that everybody will be able to be on board, all of the teams. But it's really neat. All of their essays are in this book. And it uh, allows them to be published authors, technically, self-published. And the book is available for about $4 on lulu.com. Can students come to your class to read the book? For sure, yeah. I have this um, at any point in time, and it's definitely available in my classroom if anybody wants it. All right, thank you. Really cool. Now on to the rest of announcements. Sophomores and juniors, Mac OS High Sierra should be installed on your laptops. It will be used for state testing. ACT prep classes start next week. Each class is $10. Check Schoology for more information. Auditions for the variety show start on February 13th. They will be open for all students and staff. Stuco is selling t-shirts for breast cancer awareness. They will be worn at the upcoming Emporia game. FCCLA is hosting a fundraiser to raise money for human trafficking victims. The seminar who brings in the most money will get a prize. Now over to Josh with the weather. Can you believe it? It's already Thursday. Now let's take a look back at the system that brought us a snow day here. Tuesday through Wednesday, a total of 3.0 inches officially at the Billard Airport. That brings our season total so far to 16.8, which is just one inch shy of our average season total. So yeah, it's been a snowy winter and so far, we expect a little bit more snow, so we'll just see over the next couple of months how much we are able to add to that. Now, the big story today, not so much the snow, although flurries are possible, it's more so the cold. A cold front is pushing through, winds are going to really pick up out of the north, and that'll drop wind chills by 3 p.m. down to just 8 degrees. When you can put the wind chill in, in your fingers, you know it's cold. And then even by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, just two degrees for a wind chill. So yes, some very cold weather for today and really through the rest of this week. But notice on your SCTV 7 day forecast, rebounding this weekend up to the 40s for Sunday. Monday will have a morning high of 41, but temperature is going to be falling through the afternoon. There's a slight chance for rain changing to snow on Monday. And as a whole, we do look to cold, cool back down. Next Tuesday and Wednesday could be some of our coldest air of the season heading toward the middle of next week. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We're leaving you with another video game story. Resident Evil 2, originally released on the PlayStation 1 on January 21st, 1998, has finally been remade for the PS4 after 21 years. To celebrate this, we go to learn more about the horror of Resident Evil. In Resident Evil 2, the player plays as two different characters with different scenarios. Leon S. Kennedy, a rookie cop who slept in on his first day and survived because of it, and Cora Redfield, the sister of Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 1, who she is looking for in Raccoon City. Um, I mostly know Leon, not so much uh, the girl, I can't even remember her name, but uh, I, yeah, I just know Leon. <laughs> Also within the infested streets of Raccoon City, players will have to conserve their ammo as they face zombies, zombie dogs, liquors, and a few other surprises that await them. Oh yeah, it really looks like they're really uh, upping the scariness of it, I guess you could say. It looks really good. With the terrifying atmosphere of the original game, with the updated graphics, improved controls, and even new content that wasn't in the original game, this might be the Resident Evil 2 remake everyone's been asking for. Cody Kaiser, SVTV.